Bitcoin, Cardano, and altcoins continue to the downside, and a lot of people out there, I see it, turning into actual, actual bears, calling for the beginning of the bear market, the end of the bull market. Is it true? Is the bull market over for Bitcoin, Cardano, and altcoins? In this video, I'll break it down for you. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit the subscribe and like. On the way in, we're like less than 1,500 people away from, away from 200,000 people, subscribers, actual people. You all are awesome, truly. Um, let's jump into this video. Let's start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin down around 20% from all time high. And I guess this is, from a technical analysis perspective, what the beginning of a bear market looks like to a lot of people out there. And I'm, I'm being a little bit sarcastic right now, but I'm getting so many comments about this happening. But I want to zoom out on the six hour even and just show you something. Bitcoin, 18% dip in March. Bitcoin, 25% dip in February. Bitcoin, 30% dip in January. Are you seeing a theme? Bitcoin dips, everybody. And it's important. It's so important to zoom out on the charts and listen, at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know what, Bitcoin is, it's just no way that we're entering a bear market. Maybe we are, you know, that's always on the back of my mind. The, the, the extreme thing that is always on the back of my mind is something crazy happens every day. I think this something crazy happens, maybe a regulation or something and Bitcoin and crypto is just completely tank and like Bitcoin's at 20,000 you know, all your favorite altcoins, you know, back in the pennies. That's a, like, that's a scenario, the extreme scenario. The reason I do that is because I look at the most bullish extreme. I look at the most bearish exp extreme, and then I evaluate my portfolio and I say, Hey, are you comfortable with where you are right now? And that's what I'm asking myself every day. And that's what you should be asking yourself every day in terms of opinion zoomed out on the chart, everybody. I don't think this is the end of the bull market at all. 329 days post 2020 having. 329 days post 2016 having was the was the middle of the bull market last time around and we were experiencing a huge dip in bitcoin at that time right there in relation to cardano and really everything i, I want to look at ethereum back then look at ethereum at that dip in the last bull market from swing high to swing low dipping 70 percent the question that i'd like to answer is was that the beginning of the bear market then it, it wasn't the beginning of the bear market then. That was Ethereum consolidating down to the 20-week moving average for continuation of 1,000% to all-time high in that bull market. And so, you know, we look at things like Bitcoin zoomed out. We know there's room for downside. And there's this space that we've been talking about between that 20-week moving average and the lower 40,000s we've been prepared for in the short to midterm it's just a reality. It doesn't mean it's definitely going to happen. And even as we zoom in on Bitcoin right now, it doesn't mean it's even going to happen. Like we still have to track a lot of different things on Bitcoin right now. But I, I think it's really important instead of just spending so much time on these short term charts to really zoom out on the charts and just realize, you know what? Bitcoin does this like once a month and maybe this will be a bigger one. Maybe this is going to be a very large dip, similar, similar to the dip that we had in the last bull market at this time of the last bull market, you know, a 30 to 40% dip to the downside. If we go to Bitcoin and we look at the daily chart and we're looking at, okay, we broke out of this, this rising wedge, which by the way, can still be busted, meaning we get a pullback. Just visiting data in terms of rising wedges, I wanna throw this out there, pullback rate, 72%, you see right there, 72% pullback rate, meaning 72% of the time, and this is based on 1,400 trades, we, we can see uh, a pullback to the rising wedge lower trend line, meaning before you know it, and this isn't definite, but 72% of the time, we could potentially see a pullback to the $63,000 area at the very least to retest the lower trend line. And, and this is something we track. This is something we anticipate. And if it did do that, what happens there? If there's rejection there, then we're looking even a little bit more bearish than we actually are right now. But that's something to track. Uh, to the downside, though, again, zooming out on the daily, we know there's a target in the lower 40,000s right down here. We're on our way. If it happens, it doesn't mean it's the end of the bull market. It really, it's just, 
from a technical analysis perspective, that's not the case right now, at least in my view, at least in how we've tracked markets for years now, at least with, with what on-chain metrics and, and the data, historical data tells us in terms of Bitcoin cycles, we are in the middle of a bull market. And in the middle of a bull market, even 40% dips to the downside are normal. So just to give you an idea, if we hit that target area from the swing high, all-time high, and we're in the lower 40,000s, look at this, 35% dip, very similar to what occurred in the last bull market. I'm not trying to throw hopium out there. I'm not trying to just comfort you in times of the dip. But just for me, I just look at the charts. I don't enjoy it, right? right? I don't enjoy seeing red weekly candles multiple in a row right now. Um, I don't enjoy it, but I'm just kind of zoomed out. I'm like, all right, this is, you know, it is what it is. This is what happens uh, in terms of Bitcoin. And it happens pretty much once a month. We've been very spoiled in this bull market with these parabolic gains, with the overextension from the 20 week moving average for Bitcoin to cool off right now is a good thing. Let's pivot over to Cardano uh, because, you know, Cardano just look at this. This is like incredibly bullish to me. And I, I know Cardano is down like 25% plus right now from its all time high, not long ago, right here. This is a daily chart, but this just looks bullish to me. Now I did a video and this was in February, February 28th. I want to just take a really quick look. Now, do I think Cardano after this Shelly, or I'm sorry, after this Mary hard fork mainnet tomorrow is going to dip 50% to the downside. I don't necessarily think that at all, but that mindset, and I'm, I'm speaking to you if you're new to crypto, especially, and if you haven't been in this ecosystem for very long, that mindset of not expecting huge dips like that, but simply anticipating, simply realizing that the possibility is there. That mindset is the key to success in crypto. So, you know, Cardano right there around like a dollar twenty three, dollar twenty two as I'm doing that video and we were going into Mary hard fork. That's what we were talking about in that video, kind of in this area, this swing high area. And we were just talking about the historical data on Cardano, which was Shelly hard fork, the staking that we that we had come into the Cardano ecosystem. What transpired after there was a very big dip. And if you zoom out on the charts, it, it wasn't the most fun to live through. You know, we were doing technical analysis through that move, but zoom out on the charts. And this was a cool off phase before going into Mary Hard Fork. And so what we're talking about in that video is, was simply going into Mary Hard Fork, is there gonna be a cool off phase? And either way, there has been a cool off phase. Whether Cardano continues to the downside now or not, Cardano has cooled off. And appropriately so, because based on historical data going into you know big events like this, we get the price run up and then cool off. We got the price run up, and then we cooled off and that's what we've been doing. And there still could be some cool off. We were talking about potential 50% dip for Cardano from that swing high. What would that look like? That's looking like 70 to 80 cent range. What do we have here after all of this consolidation for Cardano? We have a target to the downside in the 70 to 80, 80 cent range down here. It's in play. And we've been just realizing that and talking about it and just knowing the reality of it for months now, since I did this video in February talking about exactly what's transpiring here on the daily chart, it doesn't make Cardano any less any less uh, bullish than it is. So here we are on Cardano, zoomed out on the weekly. Let it continue to consolidate. This is my mind uh, anyway. And leading into smart contracts. Are you serious? Smart contracts. Leading into smart contracts. We have Africa Cardano uh, news in seven days on the 29th. Who knows what's going to happen in the short term? Again, Cardano still even has a chance in the short term, but even if it just trickled down even more, maybe we hit 50% uh, to the downside ultimately. I'm just long-term bullish. And you know, at the end of the day, even if Cardano Bitcoin enters a bear market right now, guess what? I'm just still bullish. I'm, I've been, I've been, you know, how long have we been here doing these videos? Um, it's like nothing new, even if we have to accumulate through another bear market. I just don't personally think we're there. That's my opinion. It's not financial advice at all. Zooming in on the charts, on Cardano charts, this is what Cardano has been doing just right now. You know, yes, we've broken the lower trend line of this ascending triangle. This is a six hour, but you can just see Cardano. We, we had a swing low actually the other day, of four. Then we had another swing low right here around $1.14 where we are now, right around $1.14. 
So yesterday's video, we talked about this, and this is kind of probably the most immediate new data that we have, which is we were tracking this swing low here to swing high. We wanted to see Cardano kind of see support at this Fibonacci support, and it hasn't. The one support we have gotten is, again, just kind of this median range of uh, support down here, and it really is acting as a, a lower trend line, and we have kind of this series of lower highs, and we're kind of in a very short-term uh, descending triangle. That doesn't mean we're definitely breaking to the downside, but I would say that dollar area would be that next move for Cardano before we maybe see it, uh, some more structure come into play on the short and mid-term charts. But again, descending triangles, they break to the upside sometimes as well. They're just not taken uh, as bullish setups and they're really not that bullish of setups. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be watching for Cardano, what's happening now going into overnight. But instead of just harping on the short-term price, instead of talking about you know the short-term move, Cardano's down right now, I really just wanted to spend some time discussing the zoomed out charts. What's going on? What does a historical data say? And we've been, we've been talking about this exact scenario right now for months since this February 28th video, and this is what it says. This is what the data says. To me, at least, Cardano still bullish. To me, at least, Bitcoin still bullish. And guess what? If it's not, and you know what? Maybe Bitcoin put in its all-time high and we're going into a bear market. I don't think so. But even if it did, I'm in the position personally where I'm just like, I'm, I'm accepting of that fact. And I think if at any given day, you can just be in that mental mindset where you're just like, all right, I'm ready for every scenario. Truly, just work on getting to that point in your mind. You're ready for every scenario. You're going to be fine. And if you're long on crypto, it's this opportunity when price dips. So that's my take on this dip. I don't like it. I don't want it to dip. I want to see new all-time highs, just like all of you. But we have to be patient through these things. Zoom out on any weekly chart. There's red all over the place. There's there's just this these downtrends all over the place in bull markets and in bear markets. It is what it is. Uh, all we can do is track it together and be prepared together. And so uh, here we are, and we're, we're tracking it. That's for sure. So I appreciate all of you cruising through. I hope you have a great night. Hang in there. Relax a little bit. Get some fresh air. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Have an awesome night, and God bless.